Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other way Taking the good with the ups and downs I wanna see how the world turns round Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea Saturday morning and we're going on an adventure day. We're gonna head on over to SeaWorld, enjoy a little bit of time over there before we uh, do a little bit of shopping. We have to find a frame for our new puzzle. This is a puzzle that Adam and I have been putting together for a little over a month now. And I ended up gluing the, the top and the bottom of it. And it's all nice and stiff. I'll show you guys here. So it's all nice and stiff, ready to be framed. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in Peter's room. Yeah, so, uh, you excited? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jumping for joy over here. Um, it's a Pirates of the Caribbean puzzle and it matches his room perfectly because he has kind of a Lost Boys a pirate theme going on there. Yeah. You excited? I, I have a pirate flag. You have a, okay. He has a pirate flag in there. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today, and then tomorrow is Super Bowl. So we're going to be watching the Super Bowl tomorrow, but before we do that, we are going to be making a pork shoulder. Actually, Adam's making the pork shoulder, and then we're going to take it over to Fisher House over on base, and uh, it's just our way to give back, do something good for the military families, and uh, that is going to happen before we enjoy all the horrible food that we should not be eating, but we make an exception on Super Bowl. Let's get this day started. We're gonna head on over to SeaWorld in a bit, taking you guys along with us. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up, and let's get this day going. We are gonna check out Discovery Point today. We've never been down this way. It said that there's dolphins and sharks down here. I actually thought you had to pay extra to get down in this area, so. It looks like a nice big area to explore. If you want to do some of the animal interactions, there's the check-in. You have to pay extra for that. And uh, let's see what the cost is. This is where the dolphins are. Let's see if we can spot one. Well, let's go see if we could find one. Oh, I see one. I see two. I see two. Where are they? <gasps> Did you see that, Peter? Oh, you went over to the other side. There's two of them. Well, I'm Very cool. Face. Someday we'll do that, bud. You see him underneath? Aww. Hi, dolphin. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Mom, can we see it more below? I like Mommy, can we see it more below? We're going to go to the underwater viewing to see the dolphins. We haven't done this since we were living in Pensacola. There's a shark tour here. You guys excited? Yeah. This yeah. area reminds me of Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World. It's so relaxing, serene, clean. There's not so many people here. So guys, if you're at SeaWorld, make sure you stop by uh, Discovery Point. They didn't even ask us for passes here when we walked through. So I wonder if it's actually a free area for viewing and they get most of their income with tours kids are super excited okay let's see what's in here oh wow this is pretty
open. There you go. Whoa. Look how beautiful. Happy. Are you guys happy? Yeah. How happy are you? Yes. Whoa, that's super duper happy. Discovery Point is super cool, guys. If you're over here, check it out. It's very calming, relaxing, a lot of things to see. And if you are home with your kids most of the day, maybe homeschooling, take them there. It's a great spot to teach them a little bit about sea life and just enjoy a nice relaxing area for you and your kids that is not too crowded. soon and aquatic is open up, opening up very soon we are so excited for that right Jane it's opening up in about I want to say three weeks so very soon we are at Walmart trying to find a picture frame it's just an odd size for us to be looking for 
I don't know if we're gonna have any luck. Jane, let me see the frame that we ended up getting. So this is what we're gonna work with. It's a little bit bigger than the puzzle, but uh, we'll have to figure something out when we get home, but it's a very odd size. Picture is up, it's in a frame. It's looking pretty good. I was able to color the sides of the picture that came in the frame and then put it below the puzzle. You can barely see it. I notice it for sure, but from further away, you can't even tell. But Peter loves his new picture in his room. Very happy with this one. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, guys. We are ready to eat some food that is not so healthy for us. We have the pork shoulder out on the smoker. Adam put that out there last night, so he had a very late night and it's still on there. We're gonna drop it off at the Fisher House very soon. And that is located on Lackland Air Force Base. And what they're gonna do is enjoy that food with other families that are at the Fisher House and uh, just to enjoy the game. And a lot of the food that they're gonna be eating today is donated by fellow military family members. So it is so awesome that people came together to support those families at the Fisher House. Um, and we are so grateful to be part of it. But leading up to this point, it has been a very busy day. I made some shotgun shells for the first time. Adam's gonna put them on the smoker when we get home from dropping off the pork shoulder at the Fisher House. And we're gonna also enjoy some pork shoulder during the game. <laughs> he ended up making two of them so we can have one here in the home. So it's gonna be a fun day full of food that we don't usually get to enjoy. We definitely wish our Green Bay Packers were playing today. Hopefully things turn around next year, but I'm actually the kind of person who enjoys watching the halftime show and not so much the game. So we'll see how that goes. Pork shoulder is done. He's gonna shred it. This is gonna go to the Fisher House, these two trays. And then we have our own trays right over here, which we'll probably shred when we get home because we're running very late. Uh, he's gonna bring in another tray from the smoker right now. But guys, look how amazing this looks. It smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> Bella's like, mmm, I smell something <laughs> yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, it's, it looks really hot. Taste it too. Mmm. Smells good, huh? Yeah. We are at the Fisher House. Adam and Jane went ahead inside with the food so that they can lay it out for everybody. We had a hard time getting here. There was a major accident in the road. They had both sides cut off and really hope that everybody is okay. There was no detours um, set up, really nowhere for anybody to go. So a large group of us ended up going over the grassy area into another road and finding our way around. But it looks, it looks like a huge, huge accident. And that's one of my concerns of living out here in San Antonio. Accidents happen so often and the way people drive out here is so, so scary. Sometimes I just contemplate if I even wanna leave the house, but I'm really hoping that everybody is okay. The Armed Forces Hover Guard and Drummers and the President's Own. Guys, it's about to start. Let's see who wins. Honestly, Adam and I do not have a team that we're rooting for. I am looking forward to the halftime show. That's right, my son, Packers are the best, but not this year. Adam is finishing up dinner. He's got the, um, what are they called? What The other stuff on the grill, on the smoker right now. I'm gonna show you what those, uh, what they're gonna look like when they come off the smoker. Peter wanted hot dogs, so we made him hot dogs, and then we're finishing up the 
french fries, and guys, we're gonna have a little bit of a feast while we watch the Super Bowl. These are the shotgun shells. It is a ground beef, ground turkey, put into a manicotti shell. You uh, put it all in there, wrap it around with bacon, smoke it for an hour, put some barbecue sauce on there for another 10, 15 minutes, smoke it a little bit longer, and then you have a shotgun shell. And they are delicious, guys.